Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to manage the IDX listings that appear on your website, where they appear, and how to customize the information that appears for each listing. The listings that display on your featured listings page are those that match your office ID and or your agent ID, depending on your MLS rules. Certain featured listing information provided your, via your MLS feed can be overridden. To manage your active featured listings, start by clicking IDX Control Panel under the IDX Setup option in your left menu. Your IDX Control Panel should open in a new window. If it does not, make sure you set to Always Allow Pop-Up for this website. Select the Listings tab and under Manage Listings, select Active. To search for a specific listing, enter any part of the address in the search box. Click on the address to edit the listing. You can override the property description, the virtual tour link, and the open house information. Be sure to click Save Property Information at the bottom of the page in order to save your changes. You can also upload your own photos. If you upload your own photos, they will replace the photos that are provided by your MLS feed. Please note that the features described in the remainder of this video require the IDX Professional Package. If your MLS supports sold listings, when a featured listing changes to sold or pending status, it is moved from your active list to your sold pending list. Sold pending listings initially are assigned a status of unknown and show on website is set to no. In order to display a sold or pending listing on your website, it must be changed to show on website and the property status must be changed to pending or sold. The remainder of the information on a sold or pending listing is all editable. After you have made all the changes to your listing, be sure to click the Save Property Information button at the bottom of the page. Note that listings that were sold prior to activating your MLS IDX feed will not be displayed on your sold list. If this is the case, or if your MLS does not support sold listings, then sold listings can be manually entered by clicking the Add a Sold Pending button. Remember to set the status to either pending or sold so that the listing appears on your website. Also complete the remainder of the listing information and when you've completed the listing be sure to click Save Property Information at the bottom of the page. and add any photos that you would like to display for the listing. Sold listings with a status of unknown will not appear on your website and are automatically deleted after 120 days. Sold and pending listings can be displayed on a separate page on your website. To add a dedicated sold listings page to your site, return to your website control panel and under IDX Setup, select IDX Page Links. Scroll to the very bottom of the page and under Sold Featured Listing, select and copy the page link. Then under Theme Options, select Menus. On the left side of the page, under Pages, click the arrow next to Links and in the URL field, paste the page address that you just copied. Then Set the label that you would like for your new menu item in the link text field. 
click Add to Menu. The new menu item is automatically added to the bottom of the menu structure. I would like the new menu item to appear under Featured Listings on my site. To do this, I click the menu item and holding down the mouse, drag it up the page under the Featured Listings menu item, making sure it is indented so that it appears under Featured Listings, and click Save Menu. If I return to my site and refresh the page, there is my new menu link under Featured Listings, and if I click on it, there are my sold listings. Sold listings where you or your brokerage represent the seller can also be included in your Featured Listings. To do this, return to your IDX Control Panel and click the Setup tab. Under Listing Settings, select Result and Featured, and change the setting. Show Sold Pending Properties on Featured Listings page to On. You can also hide sold and pending listings from your site's search results by selecting On for the setting above. To manually add listings that are neither in your active or sold pending list, you can use supplemental listings. To add a supplemental listing, click the Listings tab and under Manage Listings, select Supplemental and click the Add a Supplemental button. Then click the type of listing you wish to add. Fill out the listing information including the address and any other listing information you want to enter, including the description, virtual tour, etc., and click the Save Property Information button. Then add a property photo from your computer by clicking Choose File, select the file from your computer, click Open, check the box next to, next to Make Main Photo to make this the primary photo for your property, and click Add Photo. and repeat these steps if you wish to add additional photos. Supplemental listings can also be displayed on your website on a separate page. Use the same steps as explained previously for the sold listings page. Supplemental listings can also be included on your featured listings page by returning to Setup, selecting Results and Featured under Listing Settings, and checking on next to Show Supplemental Properties on Featured Listings page. You now know the various methods that can be used to manage the listings that appear on your agent website and set the pages and lists in which they appear.